so I've brought in some cubic geometry uh, for using with mesh fusion and you can see here we're just seeing the wireframe so uh, before we can even get started with mesh fusion I'm just going to change the shaded mode from wireframe to default uh, so now you can actually see whichever mesh item we have selected uh, or whichever mesh items we have selected will actually show up in the default shaded mode um, now if you want all of your uh, mesh items to show up regardless of whether they're selected or not. Uh, there are a few different ways to do this. We can press Control 1 to bring up the main pie menu and if I choose the bottom left uh, option which is toggle background shading uh, then all of our uh, mesh items regardless of whether they're selected or not uh, will appear shaded. Uh, we can also uh, press Control 2 to change from wire to default so these two pie menus are very um, relevant to how you view your, your models uh, or your meshes within uh, the 3D viewport. So Control 2 will change between all the different uh, shading styles and Control 1 is your main pie menu and the toggle background shading is uh, very useful because it will allow you to uh, show which mesh items uh, show up as shaded or wireframe. So um, you can also press the O key while uh, your cursor is within the 3D viewport and that brings up the 3D viewport properties. If I just click this little circle icon to pin this panel, uh, we have an option here in this side tab called inactive meshes. If I click that, at the very top we have an option called make inactive same as active. So if I toggle that on, it's the same thing as pressing control one and choosing toggle background shading. So that is the same exact thing. Now there's also an option if you are going to work with mesh fusion, um, there's a preset here uh, called model fusion if I select that, uh, it actually just prepares your entire viewport for working with Mesh Fusion, which is pretty nice. So now I can just select a Mesh item, uh, Control F to bring up the Fusion Pie menu, New Fusion with Selected, and then I can just drag this onto the primary, and you, you're good to go with Mesh Fusion. Now we can start just, uh, you know, creating some models using Mesh Fusion.